All right, as usual, links in the, in the description below. If you guys don't know how to install my APK mods, link in the description below as well. It's gonna link to basically version one of this APK where I did do the tutorial. It's the same thing. All right, some idiots out there keep saying, "Oh, but it's a you know you have a new version of the game. I need a different install install tutorial." Like, no, motherfucker, you don't need that shit. All right, you just gotta fucking know how to simplify shit in your brain. That oh yeah, it's the same fucking process. We're just using different files. All right, so don't be stupid. Just do like the, the tutorial does. All you're doing is just switching out the APK that's being used. All right. So anyway, let's do this. Um. The only difference between this one, V2, and V1 was uh, in this one, um, when you buy the cars, the cars come with the upgrades already set. So if it's a tier 2 or higher, it's, it's already got stage 6 is set. If it's a tier, tier 1, then it's got stage 5 set already. Alright? Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. So let's just jump into it. Alright, so uh, I, I added um, basically 5 fusion slots to all stages. You can't touch stage 0, so don't do that. But uh, so all stages for all parts have five slots, so you can have up to 210 fusion slots per uh, car that's tier two or higher. And if it's tier one, then 175. All right. So as you can see here, I have zero parts here, but I already have one here, so I can go and and uh, remove that part. So now I have one, right? So if I click on this one, it has one. All right. So now if I tap this one, if you have at least one of the of the fusions it will automatically go in without having the dialogue pop up. So that'll save you some time in terms of going through it. And it's infinite as long as you have one. All right. It's just, it's just for that particular set naturally because all these other parts have a different fusion part on it. All right. Alternatively, if you don't have said part, you can also just strip the car and get, and get it that way. And I believe I did set it to where uh, when you do strip a car, it gives you only green fusions. All right. So, yeah, that should help you guys out, max out your cars faster. Uh, there are certain cars that you don't want to push beyond a certain fusion count. Like, I, I believe it's just mainly the Huayra BC, uh, Porsche 918, LaFerrari, uh, 720S possibly, where you don't want to go over 185, 186 fusion parts. Because if you do, the game will crash. You, you won't lose your whole file, but the game will crash, you will have to restart it. That's how you figure out where the, where the limit is at. But, uh, yeah, so keep that in mind. If you do either of those cars or any high-powered tier 5 cars, there's a good chance that if you try to put more than 185, 190, the game can crash. Okay, so keep that all in mind while, uh, while you do this. So, uh, why the hell I did this? Mainly because there are certain people that want to experience what having more than, um, standard fusions are like on a car instead of just doing the Evo uh, score mod, whatever, you know? So, uh, that's mainly to hit those people's fetishes that are interested. So, let's see, what else did I add in here? Oh, yeah, the, uh, the, uh, race camera mod. I'm gonna show you in, in, uh, test run just because it's easier to show. And also the headlights, the he the headlight colors changes every so often, every few, every every other race. The, the headlight color may change if it's a night race, such as I have what yellow green uh, headlights right now. So yeah, that's a thing. Um, and uh, blame that on speed. Speed couldn't make up her mind on what color to choose, so I just went with everything that she decided to ask for. So. It goes on a roulette wheel every time you start up a race. All right, so it's in this back, uh, in this behind the car uh, view, as you can see, and I also modified the uh, field of view as well so that you have a wider view and such. So yeah. Lastly, some people asked me for like an infinite field, but I don't feel that's really something that everybody wants because some people want to be able to take pictures that look somewhat legit, right? So if you have purple field all the time, that's not great. So what I did do for the people that wanted it um, was uh, if you would like to, you can, al you can always buy as, mi as much fuel as you want over and over again. As you can see, it's purple now. It's going to stay purple because that's just the color it is when you go to 40, 50, and 60, I believe. And it does eventually turn blue again, but I'm not sure when that happens. I think it was over 100. Anyway, so I put it so you can have up to 1,000 pips if you want it. All right? So, yeah. Okay, that's pretty much it. That sums up this video. 
Thanks for checking this out. Thanks for checking out my DK. That's it. Bye bye. Adios. Peace.